Last time, we stood walls, pulled the bottoms into line, and then tightened up the tops. Just before bailing out for the day, the crew braced the walls to be roughly plumb. Today, they're going to align the tops of the walls perfectly with the bottoms. Before breaking out any persuaders, Ben walks through with a level to get a feel for where the walls are right now. He marks which way the wall needs to move on the studs. In general, you start with the corners, getting them plumb and braced tight. Theoretically, if the floor is level and the walls are square, then all you really need to do is plumb one corner and tighten the tops. But the map is different than the terrain. Ben uses turnbuckle style concrete wall braces to move the walls. He learned this from Mike Gurton and Rick Arnold and he's quick to point that out. The turnbuckle is screwed to a long 2x4 and hoisted into place. The top is screwed into the top of the wall, and the bottom is screwed into the bottom plate. Now, the turnbuckle is cranked until the corner is plumb. get the wall to move so much in this direction because it's cheap, but... With that corner plumb in one direction, the other end of the wall is also plumb in that direction. So he can pull out the tacks and flush the outer edge of the other wall, double checking the wall. Now they focus on plumbing the corners in the other direction, fastening the wall brace and twisting to perfection. With the corners exactly where they need to be, Ben and Liz go about straightening the top of the wall. They add a few braces to the particular parts of the walls with big humps and wumps, slowly bringing the humpy wumpy wall into alignment with the string line. Ben screws down into the top plate before cranking on the brace. Uh, I throw screws in through the top plate because sometimes as if you're trying to push the wall out, it wants to roll the top plate up and off. Eventually, after methodically working down the wall, the top submits to the will of the blueprints and they're ready for roof trusses. 